Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome back to the project. All right, in this video, I'm gonna give you an update. I'm gonna show you what I've been working on. I'm gonna show you what projects are to come. Uh, so we're gonna start out with this, this piece of work. This is a tow dolly. Um, I got this from my buddy Tom. He drove this thing all the way down from upstate New York to me for about $100. And when I took it apart to uh, fix it, uh, it definitely needs some fixing, man. I uh, opened up a can of worms. So just take a look at this right here. Uh, this right here, it's ripped to pieces. There's another rip. I mean, this is this is thick steel that was just completely shredded. I welded some of that yesterday. I took that tray off of this frame right here. Um, this is where the giant bolt goes in and that little tray swivels for turning. Uh, I had to weld this up. This had a big crack in there too. Um, but man, I need this tow dolly to pick up Jeeps. I'm gonna try to flip some Jeeps, make some money for, well, there you can see right there. There's my two door. It's no secret that I have one. I still didn't post the, uh, the video of me getting that. I'm going to do that soon when I get closer to working on my new beach Jeep project that will be coming soon. But yeah, this thing is just a disaster and um, the first mission for this thing was to go pick up that ZJ from Kevin. If you remember back in the day when I did the VIC video, it's uh, it's a shame it's gonna get scrapped. Do you uh, oh, no. you mind if I buy the whole thing off you? Oh, no, not at all. You, you seem like the adventurous type. Yeah, right. Maybe we could uh, work something out. Get this thing towed to my house. Sounds good. <laughs> Sweet future project. I wanted to bring that ZJ home and. Uh, I can't do it in this condition. I mean, look at the uh, look at the ramp. It is it is literally cracking to pieces. I think the story was the previous owner got this really quick so he could bring a vehicle home. I think it was a, a Ford F350, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. Let me know, Tommy. Is that it? E350, F350. Either way, the thing was big and it literally ripped this thing to pieces. Uh, so yeah, so I started working on this. I welded it up last night. It's been rainy, so it instantly rusted because I didn't get to paint it. Um, and yeah, I need to work a lot faster because Kevin, he just got a notice from the village he lives in. The man is threatening to have his vehicle impounded and fine him for having that unregistered ZJ in his driveway. And I can't let that happen. I need that CJ and I don't want to let him get fined, so I got to work real quick. I got to get this uh, roadworthy, I got to get this safe so I can go get that CJ from him. I'm going to try to do it today, so this is going to be a lightning fast uh, restoration, uh, quick um, sprucing up of this disgusting trailer. So um, yeah, uh, XJ trailer, let me show you some parts I got for it, come on in. Here we go, I got some uh, reflective strips here, I got some uh, ratchets right here, uh, I got some new tie downs, I ordered these actually last week, they came just in time, and hey, if you guys are going to get some toe dolly tie downs, you want to make sure you get the ones that are looped around each other, um, there's a bunch of them out there, they're really cheap on eBay and Amazon, and they just, they're, they're stitched together, uh, that doesn't fly. You want to have them looped together and stitched. It's much stronger. So I got these tie downs. That's very cool. Um, <laughs> uh, I got an open box special. This was a display, I think. I was able to get some trailer lights. Uh, oh boy. So this, this giant bolt is what holds that tray onto the frame. And look at these bearings. These bearings, this bearing race, was the only thing holding it on. And when I took it apart, they just completely shredded. It was annihilated. So uh, I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't fix that, sorry. So what I did was I went over here into my <laughs> BMX parts bin and I found myself a couple crank bearings. So right here, <laughs> this is actually, well here, look at this. This is a bearing cup from a BMX bike. Yes, a 20 inch BMX bike. So um, what I did was 
I took the other part, I dremeled out the inside just enough so it fits around this giant bolt, and there is some ball bearings in there, in the race, and this should hold up just right. <laughs> well, I don't know if it'll hold up just right, but it'll fit just right. Look at that. That fits in there just nice. This is going to go through. It's going to mount everything together. And, God, we'll see. We'll see if it works. It's a BMX bike. I don't think it's going to be able to hold up to uh, trailers and vehicles. Um, but, geez, it's got to be better than that, which is disintegrated. So, all right, guys. I got a lot of work to do. I'm going to go out and pull this to the front. And I'm going to start welding up some of the serious parts so I could get a ZJ home today. So, all right, let's get to work. <laughs> oh, good God. Look at this other crack I just found. Man, this thing was ripped to shreds. Holy smokes. Good thing I'm a great shitty welder. <laughs> why you always wear eye protection. This thing must have thrown every piece of braiding off. Crazy. All right, Home Depot run. Here we go. Yeah, the Home Depot. Pulling in. Find ourselves a spot in the pro parking because, you know, I'm a pro, of course. I am, though. <laughs> I said that sarcastically, but I really am. And here's a Black Beauty update. Uh, I need gas, but she still only got 96,000 miles. Thank you, General Grievous, for keeping the miles off the Black Beauty. And check this out. Found a nice little piece of the braid stuck into my pants. So that's another good tip when you guys are working with a cutoff wheel or a grinding wheel or these braided wire wheels. You're always going to want to make sure your rotation is shooting the debris away from you, uh, down if possible. Uh, I know sometimes the angles can get a little cumbersome, but uh, yes, you're going to want to shoot it down and away so you can avoid uh, sending things hurling at your, uh, your man bits or your uh, femoral artery. So yeah, stay safe. All right, so this was a Milwaukee. So we're gonna go to the Milwaukee and uh, I think this is it. Yep, a lot of options here, Milwaukee and Milwaukee. So, <laughs> gonna get this, you know what? I think I'm also gonna try one of these flat discs. Nine bucks, let's see if this works. All right, try these two. Hey, 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 thanks Home Depot. Thanks Black Beauty. <laughs> Alright, after giving this main part, this <laughs> main part of the frame, this main frame, a <laughs> good once over. Uh, yeah, I inspected it and there are no visible cracks, so I'm gonna wipe it down with some brake cleaner and give it a quick coat of paint.
bad guys not bad for a hundred dollar welder <laughs> all right i gotta finish off that little piece in the bottom and then uh i'm gonna go ahead and put some more in here then i'll do the other side All right, here's my bolt contraption. Let's take out the cotter pin. Loosen up the big nut. The big nut. Why did I say that? Like it was a movie quote. I don't know. I don't have a quote for the big nut. Uh, I don't know what this was. I think it's just a, a pad. So we'll set that up there. Oh, great. Gotta clean that up. But again, here's the bearings, and this is the race. So I'm gonna use a brand new clean one. The one I showed you. Put that right there. So that's where it's gonna go. Alright, I'm gonna grind up this edge and then we'll put it on. Alright, I scraped it up with the file. Got it all cleaned up, so now we can weld it. Nice clean surface. And I know it's just a bicycle part. Uh, it's all I have. I'm trying to make something work here, guys. Uh, if this thing really wanted to, could probably rip right through it like it was tin foil. Marty, he's in a 46 Ford. We're in a DeLorean. He ripped through us like we were tin foil. But I'm gonna see what happens. All right, I only decided to weld uh, either side on, plus the tacks, because if this doesn't work out, I'm gonna need to be able to grind it off. So let's see if this holds. All right, gonna paint all this area up now. Yeah. Sorry guys, I ain't trying to win no awards with this paint job. <laughs> I'm usually much better, but time is ticking. Oh man, this is bad. Just want to cover the bare metal so it doesn't rust up. I can touch anything else up later. So this will have to do for now. All right, guys. Now this ramp is pretty atrocious, but it's holding together. I mean. I could try one Jeep with it and see what happens. Uh, this ramp, on the other hand, this is sketchy. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of welding right here. Because, well, it's ripped, ripped in half. Uh, all right. guys i forgot i gotta mount on some taillights to this thing but <laughs> this 
uh, and it's just cut off right there. So I think I'm going to put this flare on that side and that flare on this side, and then I'll have something to attach the, um, the turn signals and brake lights to. So, uh, going to, uh, do a switcheroo. All right, here we go. That's a win, big win for me and for you. <laughs> Jeez, I think I need some new wheels. Oh man. slice in this plate heated it up first with a torch that's plastic just to give this thing some protection my bearing cup is just a little bit too big so um yeah i had to make that cut but hopefully we'll get this around without incident <laughs> yes great so this will do whatever it does right there and i got my bearing and some grease there we go Ball bearings in the race. And we're gonna plop it in ball side down. All right, I think up next is gonna go this race. This is usually what screws around the crank of a, it's a one piece crank in BMX. And we're gonna put that on there. And now our big tray is gonna ride right on that. So let's see. Piece of the puzzle. Nice. Go for cotter pin. <laughs> I'll bend them back. One up, one down. All right. Whoa, we did it. Tow dolly, car dolly, trailer complete. All right, guys, well, we just ran out of daylight. We ran out of time, uh, but I got everything hooked up. I got all the wires ran. Um, they are very, very sketchy, but um, <laughs> let's hope they do the trick. Uh, again, very, very sketchy. Uh, I probably went overboard with the lights, but... We'll, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll get ourselves a Jeep in the morning. So, yeah, see you tomorrow.
Good morning, guys. Here we go. We got our ZJ on the tow dolly hooked up to the XJ. Sorry I didn't film that part for you. It was still dark. I got here first thing in the morning. So this is Kevin's parts ZJ. Uh, he took the transfer case out of it. He took the ring and pinion out of the front diff. Uh, we'll probably part this thing out. It's uh, 200,000 miles on the engine, I believe. Still running strong. And, of course, probably a crappy 4.2 RE transmission. So uh, that's that. Um, let's get it out of here. <laughs> we got a XJ towing a ZJ. Yeah, buddy. Oh, boy. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, my face is in the way. Yeah, guys, we got this thing home safe and sound. The new parts, ZJ, in the driveway. I am stoked. Man, we got here some nice toe straps. They did the job, the new ratchets. Everything's fantastic. Yeah, this ZJ, <laughs> it's rough, but we will part it out. Endless possibilities with parts. And uh, we're going to try to make some money for my XJ build. And uh, once again, I am stoked. Our mission is complete. We got this part, ZJ. Kevin didn't get fined, uh, even though it took me uh, till the next morning to finish this project. And it still needs work, as you can see. Going to have to rewire this. So I'll take this thing all apart and fix it uh, another day. Um, but that's it. I am so thrilled we got this dolly up and running and we got the zj home well, all right guys the tow dolly worked <laughs> we got ourselves another parts car so uh yeah i think that's gonna wrap it up for this tow dolly video uh incredibly stressful but um as you can see the uh, hard work paid off so that's great all right guys remember to like subscribe i will see you on the next project peace